Hello friends, I'm Jagdish Park Associate. Today's topic is Engineering Thermodynamics. So in Engineering Thermodynamics, I'll be explaining a numerical problem from the chapter First Law of Thermodynamics. So before going through this video, please press the subscribe button of our channel, the Mechanical Engineers team and also click the bell icon so that you will get the notifications for new videos. So let's begin. First I will read the question. A cylinder containing the air comprises the system. Cycle is completed as follows. 82,000 Newton meter of work is done by the piston on the air during compression stroke and 45 kilojoule of heat are rejected to the surroundings. During expansion stroke, 1 lakh Newton meter of work is done by the air on the piston. Calculate the quantity of heat added to the system. Now we will analyze the question. There is a piston cylinder. The piston cylinder is completely filled with air. The movement of piston is to and fro. When the piston is moved towards right, the air gets compressed. When the piston is moved towards left, the air gets expanded. And this process is repeated continuously. Therefore, the process carried out on air is cyclic. So here we will consider the compression process as process 1 to 2 and the expansion process as process 2 to 1. Now we will look into the process 1 to 2. During this process, the piston is moved towards right, the air gets compressed due to which the heat present in the air will be rejected to the surroundings. So the amount of heat rejected to the surroundings is 45 kilojoule and the amount of work done by the piston for compressing the air is 82,000 Newton meter. Now we will analyze process 2 to 1 that is expansion process. At the end of compression process, the piston cylinder will be heated due to which the air present inside the cylinder will also get heated up. Therefore, the molecules present inside the air will start moving rapidly due to which the air will get expanded automatically. Thereby, the piston will be moved towards the left. So here, amount of work done by the air to move the piston towards the left is 1 lakh Newton meter. In this question, we have to find the amount of heat added to the air for undergoing expansion. Now I will list out the given conditions from the question first. In this question, we will consider air as the system and piston cylinder as surroundings. Second, work done by the piston on compressing the air is minus 82,000 Newton meter and it is taken as W1 to 2. Negative sign indicates work is done on the system because air, air is the system. Due to the piston movement, the air gets compressed. So we can say that work is done on the system. Next, amount of heat rejected to the surroundings from the air is minus 45 kilojoule and it is taken as Q1 to 2. Negative sign indicates heat rejection. Next, amount of work done by the air on piston is 1 lakh Newton meter and it is taken as W21. Here, the air moves the piston towards the left. Therefore, the work is done by the system. So, the sign convention for W21 is positive. So, by using these four conditions, we are going to find the value of amount of heat added to the air for undergoing expansion. Now, I will move to the solving technique. First, we will find the value of internal energy during the process 1 to 2, which is taken as U1 to 2. For finding the value of U1 to 2, we will use the formula of first law of thermodynamics of closed system. And the formula is Q1 to 2 is equal to U1 to 2 plus W1 to 2. So in this formula, we know the values of Q1 to 2 and W1 to 2. So just substitute the values. We get minus 45 kilojoule is equal to U1 to 2 plus of minus 82,000 Newton meter. So here, plus of minus 82,000 Newton meter is minus 82,000 Newton meter. So the next step will be minus 45 kilojoule is equal to U of 1 to 2 minus 82,000 Newton meter. Here, I am going to rewrite this 82,000 Newton meter as 82 into 10 power 3 Newton meter. So the next step will be minus 45 kilojoule is equal to U 1 to 2 minus 82 into 10 power 3 Newton meter. Here, 10 power 3 Newton meter is kilojoule. Therefore, I am going to rewrite this 82 into 10 power 3 Newton meter as 82 kilojoule. So the next step will be minus 45 kilojoule is equal to U 1 to 2 minus 82 kilojoule. Now I will bring this minus 82 kilojoule to the LHS. We get U1 to 2 is equal to minus 45 kilojoule plus 82 kilojoule. 
here minus 45 kilojoule plus 82 kilojoule is 37 kilojoule so the next step will be u122 is equal to 37 kilojoule which means the value of internal energy during the process 1 to 2 is 37 kilojoule now we will find the value of heat added to the air during the process 2 to 1 which is taken as q2 to 1 for finding the value of q2 to 1 we will use the formula of first law of thermodynamics of closed system and the formula is q2 to 1 is equal to u2 to 1 plus w2 to 1 in this formula i am going to rewrite this u2 to 1 as minus of u1 to 2 because internal energy is a point function whereas heat interaction and work interactions are path function moreover the process carried out inside the piston cylinder is a cyclic process therefore the internal energy at point 1 and in, uh, internal energy at point 2 will not vary so therefore we can rewrite this u2 to 1 as minus of u1 to 2 okay so the next step will be q2 to 1 is equal to minus of u1 to 2 plus w2 to 1 in this formula we know the values of u1 to 2 and w2 to 1 so just substitute the values we get q2 to 1 is equal to minus of 37 kilojoule plus 1 lakh newton meter here minus of 37 kilojoule is minus 37 kilojoule and i will rewrite this 1 lakh newton meter as 100 into 10 power 3 newton meter so the next step will be q221 is equal to minus 37 kilojoule plus 100 into 10 power 3 newton meter here 10 power 3 newton meter is kilojoule therefore i will rewrite this 100 into 10 power 3 newton meter as 100 kilojoule so the next step will be q221 is equal to minus 37 kilojoule plus 100 kilojoule here minus 37 kilojoule plus 100 kilojoule is 63 kilojoule so the next step will be q221 is equal to 63 kilojoule which means the amount of heat added to the air for undergoing expansion is 63 kilojoule so friends we have found the answer for this question so this brings an end to the explanation part of this video i hope you all would have understood if any doubts are there please do comment in comment box and remember to like this video and don't forget to share this video to your mechanical friends thank you friends